Hey guys, before we begin, I just want to let you know these are all the collectibles for easy and normal difficulty. There are a whole nother set of collectibles for Madhouse difficulty, and you have to get all the antique coins on Madhouse difficulty. There are 33 of them on Madhouse, but only 18 of them on easy and normal. There will be a separate video for Madhouse difficulty antique coins, so let's get this going. Hey guys, welcome to the Resident Evil 7 collectible guide. I got 74 collectibles I'm going to show you. 32 files, 18 antique coins, 20 Mr. Everywhere bobbleheads, and then 4 videotapes. Now the first file, you'll actually get as soon as you start the game, as soon as you get out of your car. All you need to do is go to your inventory and look at the email from Mia. Examine it, and then turn it until you can hit the X button there, and that will trigger the collectible. So that's the first of 32 files. Now we're going to go through these relatively quickly and a lot of these you can get in many different order. I'm just going to show you the way I got it. I think it makes sense. You can also hit the touchpad and tab over to the files and see which files you have. Now there are four videotapes in this game. First one is going to be in the guest house. Now the ones in the guest house you have to get them before you leave because you're not coming back to get them. The first videotape is right next to the save point there. Pick that up. Now take that videotape and put it into the VCR. You may have noticed a locked drawer in the kitchen. There's no lock picks in the, in the house. Well, that's correct. But if you put in the videotape right underneath where you start, you'll get a lock pick. Now from there, as soon as you're able to go inside, we're gonna go and unlock this. So basically we just went back in time and unlocked it with the lock pick. And the uh, antique coin, the first of 18, is actually not gonna be in there. However, if we exit, stop the video if you'd like, or you can finish playing it. If you exit the video and then return to that kitchen and look at that drawer, it is now unlocked. Time travel. All right, so now we have a pair of files. These are gonna be in the basement area underground, uh, right past Mia's locked cage here in that cell, right next to the uh, bolt cutters to the left. There's two files here. Now you have to flip it over each way and you have to hit the X button on each side. So it's not just enough just to flip it with your analog sticks. You have to hit the X button on each one. Go to your files tab and you see I looked at both sides but I only got the list of names on the front so I gotta make sure I get both of them. So there's a few instances where that's gonna happen. It can easily trip you up and if you leave the guest house you're not gonna be able to come back here and get these. You'll have to start them all over again. You have to get all of those in one play through all the files and all the coins. The bobbleheads and Mr. Everywheres, you can get them across multiple save files. Now we're in the main house. As soon as you finish your uh, disturbing little dinner there, right on the wall, right here, the wall to the kitchen, on the back side of it, there's file number four. File number five is going to be just to the right. I'm going to turn about uh, 45 degrees or 90 degrees rather. Inside of this room, stack of newspapers on the table. That is number five. Now we got another coin we're gonna show you. This coin, we're gonna go through the kitchen in the storage room here. Uh, you have to get the key for this. This is actually part of the story anyway, but drop down here and you're gonna find the first antique coin or second antique coin down here it's going to be on the red lawn mower it's going to be on the left hand side as we're pathing down here good chance you might have missed the first antique coin so that might have been the first one you found mr everywhere bobblehead there's 20 of them the mr everywheres are literally everywhere we're in the main house and there's going to be a couple of them uh, after you get the knife from the police officer return back to the nearest save room here and right underneath the, the recorder where you save is the bobblehead. You can smash them, you can shoot them, do whatever you want, but that's the first of 20. You can see, you can go to the stat screen, you'll see how many antique coins you found, how many files, and how many Mr. Everywhere bobbleheads you found. There is another bobblehead in this area. It's gonna be on the other side of this main house, this portion of it at least, before we get to the main hall. You gotta go right past the door here to the left, that takes you to the main hall. So don't go down there just yet. In front of us, you see it right here on the table, is the bobblehead, and I completely whiffed, but there we go. Now we got a file, so we're gonna go into the main hall area. We're gonna path through this area many times throughout the game. And I'm actually kinda doing this slightly out of order, but on the other side of this room, to the right of that clock, and I don't know why I'm looking at the bag of potato chips on the, the table, I must be hungry. 
But to the right of this grandfather clock on the table is a newspaper. Make sure you look and examine that. And through, it's always a good idea to check your files as you're going through the game. Make sure they've you've counted all of them. I will point out the point of no returns as we get them, uh, as we pass them. But there's a bobblehead as well. That's actually right inside the main entrance to this area. And then there's going to be an antique coin to the right of that in the corner. Open up this drawer. There's the coin. Next up, we got another antique coin. We're actually up on the second floor. This is the recreation room. There's several things in here we're actually going to get. Uh, but we're going to go past that for right now. We're going to head back to the recreation room in just a second. Come back here. You're going to get the little shadow silhouette thing uh, out of the tub. In the back corner here, in the toilet, is a coin. Coin number four. All right, so now that we uh, got that, we're going to actually travel back, backtrack, and go into that recreation room that I just went through a moment ago. A few things in here. First thing we're going to get is a file right behind the counter in this drawer. There's the rec room on the map. Now there's also an antique coin in this very same room right next to the scorpion door or near it. It's right here. And you'll also notice right behind that is a Mr. Everywhere bobblehead. So there's a two for one right there. And actually about five feet to the left is another file, so go ahead and read that. Now also in this same exact room is the Mia videotape. It is the second videotape. I do have a trophy guide on my channel showing you how you can stealth that. And you'll earn a trophy if you do that. So we turn back to the main hall area, and then we did the little shadow puzzle here. And we are going to go to the drawing room mech over here. Mr. Everywhere, actually, if you look at the, the crow door, right to the left of the refrigerator, in this window, we're going to go ahead and bust that open. See the map there in the drawing room right on the supply window. So we're going to go into the neighboring room here. Inside the ashtray is another antique coin. The coins, by the way, are currency, and hold on to them for now. When you get to the trailers, the first time you can spend them. Now, from the back room, you have a save point here. This is right near the stairs going down to the processing room. Here's another file where you have to flip it over both times. The first time through this, I only examined one side. and couldn't figure out why I was missing one, so make sure you look at both of them. So head down to the processing area, and we are going into the incinerator room. Close the door behind us. Kill that guy there through the power of editing. And on the wall behind the sink, there's your file. It's also the solution to the puzzle that's in this room. That's in the incinerator room in the processing area. So next up, we're back into the recreation room. We are heading in. We're going to get the shotgun. But inside this room where you can get the shotgun, there is two files. One on this desk here, and there's going to be one on the desk to the left. And Jack is going to uh, interfere with this, this collectible guide here. And inside of that drawer is another file. So make sure you get both of the files in there. Antique coin number seven. We're heading back down to the processing area. And we're going to take a right. I had unlocked this door. You can unlock it from the other side. And go through that green door there I've opened up. And right here next to this pallet in the wall is the antique coin, which I don't have space for. I will make space, promise you that. Mr. Everywhere Bobblehead, nearby, if you head this way through this room, it's where you got the, uh, the raven key, or I'm sorry, the scorpion key. Head back down here, you're going to find a snake door. And on the ground to the right of it, Right there in the corner is our sixth bobblehead. Right there, the morgue is on the opposite side. All right, so we're going to find another bobblehead outside in front of the trailer. I'm actually passing a coin as we speak. We'll go back and get that in just a second. But right here underneath the steps to the trailer, you'll go in this trailer a few times as well. It's right there. It's in the yard. We've actually left the main house. We're in the yard. So let's go back towards the main house. As I said, I walked right past the coin. So we're going to go back and get that's going to be right here in the pot. So let's go back into the trailer. There's going to be an antique coin. You can't miss this one. This is where you can spend your coins to unlock steroids, or uh, which gives you increased health or increased reload speed, or you can get the gun there as well. But right in front of that cage is the antique coin on the table. 
and just to the left of that on the wall is going to be file number 14. So now we're heading to the old house. After you've assembled your flamethrower, there's a save room right inside of here. So go ahead and save your game if you'd like. But I highly recommend you get the bobblehead first. It's going to be on the left side of that room. So Mr. Everywhere is literally everywhere. As soon as you get the flamethrower, you're going to have to uh, make a hole here. You're going to have to use the flame to get the nest. It will reveal a hallway to the cellar. As you're coming down the stairs, if you turn around and look behind you, there's a Mr. Everywhere bobblehead right there. So go ahead and smack that thing. Turn back around, head down the stairs towards the cellar, and we're going to get the antique coin that's nearby as well. You'll see it right here on the left. Remember, the files and, an or the files and antique coins you do have to get in a single playthrough. Our 15th files after you did the shadow pu puzzle, and you're going to see the, uh, I think it's the crow door over here to the right. You're going to need the crow key. And pinned to the wall is a warning. Read that warning and that'll be your 15th file. So now we're going to turn back around. We can't go through the crow door just yet. We have to get the key for it. Just go down the stairs and around the corner and drop down into this hole. This is where you're going to get the crank. As well as yet another Mr. Everywhere. Sitting right on top of the shelf here. So let's go ahead and let's go find another coin, an antique coin. This is going to be in the area where you actually, let's go ahead and pick up that goodness right there. You're going to see a chest on the left side. This is where the, the uh, crow key is located. Don't leave the room just yet. Go to the right on top of that toilet is another antique coin. All right, so we're gonna stay around in the old house. We got a few more things we need to get. We can now go unlock the crow door with the crow key straight in front of you in the altar room. Open up this box and then examine the file that's gonna be inside the cover. So a few more in the old house. From that altar room, we're just going to follow the path, go past the phone here, and into the very next room. Inside of this room is going to be another file on the back wall there, right next to the flowers. And since we are in this area, we have to actually go get the lantern first uh, to proceed, but there are two collectibles in that area. So let's go ahead and get another Mr. Everywhere bobblehead right here next to the candles. This is again where you have to put the lantern once you get it from Marguerite. And in this very same room is a antique coin about five feet away in this drawer. So that'll do it for the old house. Back to the yard. And now there's a new collectible that wasn't there before. And it's going to be inside the refrigerator. Go ahead and look at the bra. I have no idea why I'm looking at that. That is not the collectible. The collectible is actually inside the refrigerator. Open it up, grab the head, turn it around, hit the uh, X button. All right, so that was the yard. Now we're actually going to go ahead back into the main house. We've got to get a couple keys. We're going to get the snake key as well. And once you've got that, you're going to go through the snake room up here on the Second floor, there's a clock puzzle right here. Read the note on the globe right there to the left, the same time for all, as all clocks. Make sure you that counts, go to your files, and make sure it counted, because it didn't count for me when I first looked at it. So still up on the second floor on the opposite side of the house, we're going to go to the kids' room. There's two collectibles in here of two files, one here on the left side as we entered, and there's going to be one on the right-hand side near where the ladder drops down. Make sure you get two files in this room. Now, there's going to be attic right above the kids' room, and that's where we're going to find our next two collectibles. First of which is going to be a Mr. Bobblehead, Mr. Everywhere Bobblehead. And actually, you can shoot it from down there. I'm choosing to climb up the ladder first for some reason. 
once you get up here, turn around and take your shot right there. And right behind me in the chest is going to be the videotape, the third one. The fourth one is actually story related. You can't miss it. But that's the happy birthday tape. You have to complete that in five minutes to get another trophy. Uh, check my channel. I do have a guide on that. And this can be a little tricky. All right, so now we're heading to the testing area. After we met the guy and he tells us we have to get a password, we're going to just travel down the long hall. Don't turn left just yet. You're going to see a door right in front of you. It's a booby trap room. There's a lot of explosives in here. And there's also some steroids in this room as well. So make sure you do grab that as well as the antique coin. So now we're going to go into the next area as part of the main story path. Going to be a bunch of enemies here. There's also going to be another Mr. Everywhere bobblehead. If you look up and to the left, you can shoot it from down here or you can shoot it from the uh, level above you if you'd like. So next up, you're going to go up an elevator and you're going to go this. This is actually probably story related too. I don't think you can miss it. Uh, there's going to be a note. On this note is the passcode for the door that we need. It is also going to count as one of our 32 files. From there, if we just turn around, you're going to see a shelf. Right in front of you, on that shelf is another antique coin. And Mr. Everywhere is literally everywhere. As soon as you left the birthday cake puzzle room, you're going to come to the save room. You're going to get the head. Do whatever you want to do in their save your game. Look at the, ch uh, the trunk. But after you leave that room, look above you as you exit the door, and you'll see it right there. Well hidden, that guy. He is literally everywhere, and speaking of, we have another one. Once you get to the boathouse, you're traveling to, uh, you're going to have a boss fight just ahead. you got to use the crank and extend the bridges. So you're going to use the crank to the left, but to the right you see this little hut here. Inside of here to the left, inside the netting. So now we're leaving and we're going to head over to the wrecked ship. There are quite a few of them in here and this is kind of, kind of confusing. Uh, when you get traveled down this way, before you even get to the save points, uh, this is after you get the uh, you see the flashback sequence. You drop down. Before you get to the exit of that, turn to the right path there and pick up that antique coin. Very easy to miss that one as well as the next one. When you climb up the ladder, you're going to see a body in the doorway. And then you're going to have to drop down into the water to climb up another ladder. Well, inside the water, cleverly hidden back here in the corner, is six, number 16. So make sure you get all of those before you get to the uh, next save point area. Speaking of which, that's where we're going to start our next journey. You get a handgun in that room as well. But as you exit that room, go all the way straight back. We are going to find a file through the next doorway here. As we enter this room, look to the right on the table. There's going to be another one in the bunk room. So first, let's get the one right here to the right. Now we're going to go into the bunk room. The very next room in the corner bunk on the bottom. File number 24. Now a lot of these you're going to be able to get in different order, just depending on how you go about this. But on 3F... Uh, this is actually story related. You're going to run into your fourth and final videotape. Pick it up. This tape is not optional. You have to play it. And just like the first tape, there's actually going to be a collectible in this tape. So as soon as you start in the first room you start at, you're going to see some ammo there and you're going to see a note, a file on the desk there. The very first room when you start the tape. Now you will, you can come back to this room later after you complete the tape and also get that same one. So next up, again on 3F, we're going to open, oh, you're supposed to open up the elevator doors. But before you do, look inside of this little device here in the back left corner. So again, before you go through the elevator shaft, that's on 3F. Now, once you're in the shaft, you're supposed to go and get the fuse. You're supposed to get a cable there. On the wall next to the where you put those two items is a collectible. So from there, we're going to climb up in the 2F. A lot of things in this room. Here's the captain's quarters room we just passed. That's where you can get the key for the upstairs locker. There's a bob... Oh, there's also a enemy here. So let me take care of this. But there's a bobblehead in this door. Now, we're going to go up this ladder. And we're going to have to turn around and shoot the bobblehead. 
So from 2F, we're kind of like on level 3 now, technically. But there's the bobblehead. Now, while you're here, you have to go to that box right here. You have to open it up. You have to get the lockpick. And I'll show you why in just a moment. But we're on 4F now, the top floor. And there's another bobblehead over here. This is actually my last one. I got it across multiple save files. So I'm going to get the trophy. Mr. Nowhere. He's literally everywhere, though. All right, so on 3F, you're going to go travel back here. Here is the videotape room. Past that. Now we're going to go past the elevator here, also on 3F. Into this room here. Inside of here is an orange uh, toolbox. You have to use the lock pick to open this up. And this is where the antique coin is located. Don't forget, you have to get all the antique coins and files on the same playthrough. Now, the final antique coin. As we're heading towards the exit, the final area, inside of this box, you have to use the corrosive in order to open that box. So you can spray it on the outside and open that up right there. All right, so now we're in the swamp. Very exciting. The very beginning of the swamp, uh, you can get this as you're climbing up into that building or you can exit the building and go around the back side of it. Either way, in the window is a bobblehead, number 18. So now we're going to leave the swamp, go into the salt mine. Uh, a little bit into it, you're going to reach this area here. You're supposed to go up the stairs to the right to proceed. If you go straight back, before you go up, you see the barrel here. Right in front of the barrel, up high, is the bobblehead. You're going to have to shoot that one down as well. Then go up those stairs. We're going to find a bunch of files here uh, in quick succession. So in through this door, you see the laptop to the left. Be file number 28. There's steroids in this room too, by the way. If you look... Uh, it won't take long to find it right behind me. All right, so we're going to go in through the next door right in front of us. File number 29. Make sure you hit the X button when you pick that up. So picking it up is not enough. You have to hit the X button when prompted. Right here on the back, uh, back of this thing, where you're going to mix the serum and make your cure or whatever it is. Number 31 is right behind that on the desk. Again, pick it up. And then you have to hit the X button again. And then we got one more file. Same thing in the same room. Examine it. Rotate it. Hit the X button. That's file number two. Uh, the last file, 32. And the very last collectible in the game, guys, number 74, is the 20th and final bobblehead. So as soon as you're going back into the guest house, there's a bobblehead that was not here previously. Shoot that, you've now got all the collectibles.